Alright, hello Solid Shell Security and this is Todd Martin and I'm back with another video. Alright, uh, it's not a C++ video, um, I'm kind of going back to Python here for a few minutes. Um, basically what I'm going to be going over is a nice little library I found. Let's clear that out. Alright, so... Got this nice little tablet thing. Still haven't mastered writing on it yet. But it's all good. So we're going to go back to some Python. Alright. If I tilt this a little bit. Keep on hitting the button. Alright. So we got some Python. Alright. So we already know how to make simple programs. Um, some simple ones that we did was a... Ah, voice cracking. HTTP server. Some other ones we did. We did uh, FTP server. So we basically play around with a lot of sockets. Um, I'm pretty sure along the way I kind of did some things that were like very, very basic programs. Alright. So now what I'm going to kind of go over is making programs that have a graphical user interface. All right. And sorry for my poor drawing. But you know you got the X button, the maximize button, and the minimize button. And you know have some text here and maybe like a button. All right. All this is called the graphical user interface or as we call it for short the GUI now I found a nice library that allowed someone to easily do this although uh, I'll kinda talk about some of the cons of this library but uh, I believe it also requires Tinker but the library is called Easy GUI. All right, I believe it does require, uh, I think it's called Tinker. It's like TKINR or some crazy crap like that, which is a uh, Python graphical user interface library. So it, it does require that because it is built on top. So, you know, we have, I'm just going to call it TK for short. There's this big library big library that is pretty complicated it's not easy then we have easy GUI or I'm just gonna abbreviate it EG we have EG which is built on top but it kinda simplifies this so simplifies TK this is kind of a uh, complex library so so it, so it makes it easier now I want to show you where to get this new window all right we can just simply Google easy GUI it's right there easy GUI net and you can download it and you set it up the same way that you do uh, some of the other videos where you just uh, uncompress it then you go to it and you uh, run python space setup.py and you might have to put install I've been playing around with this library for a while so let me just show you a quick example of this I'm going to import it as eg. As you can see, it created a nice little box there. Let's do eg dot demo box. I believe that is the proper one. I'll find out what it is. Um, but that just kind of shows everything it can do now.
clear this out. All right, what and cons of this? So, of this library? Because we're gonna look at this first. All right, first, all right, it is limited in what it can do since it is basically a simplified version of TK. All right, next, no more updates. All right, uh, the guy who created this library stopped, stopped continuing updating it. So what you see now, unless somebody goes back and picks the project back up themselves, which I've actually kind of considered playing around with, but unless someone goes through and picks up the project themselves and starts doing it, there's not going to be any more releases of this. But those are the two major things. Now, what are the pros of this library? Very simple. Implement. Implement. GUIs. Fast and simple. So I mean we're not going to get into anything complex. You know you're not going to be able to build like a whole Skype app off of this or you know you're not going to be able to build your own um, you know instant messenger per se unless you, you can figure out I haven't really played around with it but um, to be able to create simple simple applications that need a simple GUI fast this is the best way to do it. So I think it kind of explains itself. So you can go through here and you can download it. And also another thing I like about this, you go to tutorials. A lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. I'll kind of go through. I'll kind of go through some of the code too. Actually, while I got that up, I'll show you the demo here in a second. But as you can see, you know, just message box to get a simple message box and to get input. I mean, it's really easy. I'll kind of go through and show you. But uh, here's the... Gotta look at the syntax because I always forget this one for the demo. PG demo that you can easily run. You get this, and you can kind of click through. And you know, we have uh, that. And it just kind of shows you what each of it has. Alright, so that's easy GUI for you. Really simple library, and I'll kind of go through and show you how to use it and kind of show you how to understand the documentation if you don't quite get it. But it's uh, really simple and hope you're playing around with it quite a bit. Maybe convert some of the programs I made in the tutorials into graphical user interface programs. So this is not a full solution for anything major, it's just uh, something to create fast and easy GUIs without getting very in depth into things. So that's it for this tutorial.